We are joined by one of the new Giants, Nate Ebner, special teams ace who signed a deal with Big Blue. And uh, Nate, first and foremost, I hope you and your family are safe. These are crazy times. How are you dealing with it right now? Uh, yeah, it is. It is kind of crazy. I mean, um, as best as <clears throat> as best as we can, um, you know, just trying to abide by what uh, what the restrictions are, and then you know what we're told to do, and and do that as best as we can, and stay clean, and um, you know, do do our part with the social distancing. But uh, you know, for me, I've been able to stay pretty busy at home and do a lot of stuff around my house, which I haven't gotten the opportunity to do the past couple of years. Um, so it's actually been uh, pretty productive for me on a personal note. So, you know, Nate, you're in a unique situation in the sense that a lot of times when you're a free agent, you know, visiting a facility, getting a chance to meet the coaches is very important. Obviously with Giants head coach, Joe Judge coming from New England, uh, you have a pretty good feel for what he's all about. Did that make this signing for you a lot easier? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the relationship I've built with him over uh, quite quite some time has been um, one that I can lean on during this process, and um, I think uh, it'll help me going forward. I also have some relationships with other guy, uh, other coaching members on the team, uh, Pat Graham. And um, some other guys, I obviously know T-Mac pretty well, the special teams coordinator, just over the years competing against. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to get there and, you know, like you said, uh, meet everybody. I, I mean, we'll see what, when that's going to happen. But uh, for, for now, you know, we'll do what we can. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a good thing to, to have uh, some faces that I recognize when I go, uh, go walk into the facility. What are some of the things that you hope to bring to the Giants organization? Really uh, a, a little bit of, of leadership. And, and to me, that's just leading by example. Um, but, you know, I'm just a guy that's going to come in and work hard and, and, you know, do what's asked to me and do it to the best of my ability and kind of, you know, whatever capacity that is and, and that's required of me, do it, do it as hard and, and as best as I can. And, and that's what I mean by leadership. I hope that, uh, you know, that type of work ethic is, is something that, you know, I'm sure I'm going to walk into and, and take from other players. I mean, I, I just think that ideology of, of, your, of your craft, if you will, uh, is what, you know, sets people apart. And hopefully, you know, I, I learn a lot from a lot of the guys in that locker room and, and you know, some of the younger guys or, or guys can learn a little bit from me. I think it goes both ways. So I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm excited to get there and find out. As a guy with a rugby background who played limited college football, the Patriots took a flyer on you in the sixth round in 2012. Who are some of the people and what were some of the lessons that you learned to enable you to last as long as you've lasted at a very high level? You know, Matthew Slater with, with New England, uh, I can't even tell you how many Pro Bowls he has, but uh, he's he's been a great example, great great uh, great leader, and great great friend. Um, someone who I've probably spent most of my time working with on a day in and day out basis, and obviously on all the special teams units working together. And uh, he's a great leader. Uh, he's someone that you know leads by example, like I like I spoke about earlier, and also has uh, just outstanding character. One of the highest characters of any people I've ever met in my life so when you got people like that around you that you're coming in as a rookie that you can kind of gravitate towards that that do the same type of role that you have uh, with the team uh, it's very easy to you know just kind of do what someone like that does and uh, hopefully it works out for you but um, you know at the end of the day there's there's been a lot of great players that I've, I've been next to that I've, I've got to watch and learn from and um, you know just see how they do it. And I, I, at the end of it all, it just comes down to coming to work every day, putting your head down and grinding and doing uh, what you need to do that will help the team. And that's really it. And, um, you know, that's what I've tried to do throughout my entire career. And I will continue to do that uh, at the best of my ability. Um, and I, I can't wait to do that in New York. So how much do you know about the Giants organization and its history. Obviously, you're coming from the Patriots, and over the last 20 years with Tom Brady there and Bill Belichick, the six Super Bowl wins, you've been a part of a bunch of them as well. Um, mm -hmm. What do you know about the Giants organization and their history? 
Well, uh, luckily, I got to New England in 2012 and not in uh, 2011. <laughs> so uh, I know I know enough historical franchise for sure. I mean, when you look look back at the history of the NFL, I mean, a staple franchise, and that that to me is one of the coolest parts uh, to be able to come to New York um, and, and play for. Like I said, one of the the most historic franchises in all of football, and and what football is today, and you know they're a they're a foundation, they're a pillar to that, and um, I think that's extremely special. Um, so I'm excited about being a part of that. Um, I've had some friends and teammates that have uh, that have played for uh, for the Giants. I mean, Jake Ballard. I don't know if you remember the name, Jake Ballard, yeah. tight end uh, from yeah, Ohio State. So very close with him. Yep, Jake was uh, he was in New England, and he was in. Uh, New York and, and obviously Ohio State. So I've, I've known him for quite some time and he's had nothing but, you know, amazing things to say about New York. He got me pretty, pretty pumped. I could go on and on. Great organization. I'm so excited to, to be a part of it. And like I said, man, I just can't wait to get there and get to work. I'm going to keep right. saying that over and over again. <laughs> That's the end of every, every question you ask. Yeah, there you go. Well, but it's, it's also about, you mentioned going to work. It's about being ready, right? So you're Ooh, probably – at the end of your high school career, and David Tyree makes that catch uh, in Super Bowl 42 against the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows the helmet catch, but maybe what a lot of people don't know is that David Tyree was a Pro Bowl special teams player, and he had to be ready for when his opportunity came, and he was. I guess that's always the mindset of a special teams player, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think special teamers kind of – fit that mold a little bit more just from uh you know the from from what's required of them to not only play special teams as like a a core position but also be able to at any moment like you just mentioned uh Tyree going in and and uh playing playing whatever role you're you're asked to do defensively or offensively outside of the kicking game so um yeah, I mean, there, there, there tends to be that selflessness with a lot of special teamers. But like I said, hopefully you have that across the board with uh, everybody on the team. Hey, just talk a little bit about um, the rugby experience that you had. Obviously, the Tokyo Olympics this summer have been pushed back one year to 2021. Yeah. Um, you know, just talk about what that was like to represent the United States. Because you play in the NFL. There's no mm-hmm. international competition. It must have been a, a pretty cool experience for you. Um, I mean, extraordinary experience. Uh, you know, people always ask me what's cooler, the Super Bowl or, uh, you know, the Olympics, but they're, they're so different in their own right. Um, Super Bowl is obviously the pinnacle of, of football, one of the biggest sports and all of, you know, television, everything in the world. So it's pretty cool, but it's kind of a one day event. Then you've kind of got this, the Olympics, which is this, you know, massive you know, week weeks on end uh, tournament with all these athletes that come together. It's just extremely different, but uh, you know, extremely special at the same time. Represent your country in the Olympics. I mean, there's nothing like it. One thing that's pretty cool. I was thinking about as I obviously I'm coming to the Giants now and um, excited about that. It's but with the rugby in the Olympics, you know, you only. If you represent the United States of America, you're only putting on one jersey. Uh, there, there'll never be a time, at least for me, where I would ever, you know, put on another country's jersey. So I, I just thought that was a pretty unique and a special opportunity that I had. And, you know, looking forward, I feel really uh, – I feel bad for the – I hope that there's no more problems going forward with the Tokyo, even in 2021. Just the athletes that have worked as hard as they have to get – not only maybe miss the last Olympics, but then get to this one. And then if they were to cancel it or something like that, it's just my heart would break for the athletes that have worked so hard to get there. And, um, you know, they're just, they want that same experience I had. And it's, it's extremely special, man. It's, uh, it's once in a lifetime. And if you're lucky, you get it a couple more, but that's about it. All right. So we're all doing our part, social distancing and all that other stuff. You're hunkered down uh, Mm -hmm. in Ohio. Um, Yeah, right. So, um, do you like to cook? And if you do, what's your specialty? Uh, no, I'm not. I can eat. I can eat. I'm not big. On, I'm, I'll help. My, you know, my wife's like, she needs me to grill something. She needs me to mix something. You know, I can stand next to her with the spatula and t- tell me what to do. I'm, I'm a good soldier. Just tell me what to do. But, uh, 
you know, for the most do part, your job. <laughs> what, yeah, I'm just, I just tell me what to do. I'll do it to the best of my ability. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've spent, like I said, I spent a lot of time around the house, you know, fixing stuff up and doing stuff that I haven't had the opportunity to do. She's got me, she's got me working my tail off. <laughs> well, um, this is a uh, unique time. Well, hopefully we get you to the facility sooner rather than later. And uh, welcome to the New York Giants. And we appreciate a couple minutes. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Can't wait to get there. Hey, Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.